Born into the lineage of Adam and Eve, Methuselah held an irreplaceable position in the biblical genealogical tree. The significance of his birth is deeply rooted in his ancestry. He was born to Enoch, a man who according to the Bible, walked with God and was taken away, never encountering the inevitability of death. Enoch's divine interaction with God sets the predominant tone for the extraordinary story of Methuselah, a story steeped in grandeur, historical significance, and an epoch of remarkable transformation. Methuselah was not only a man of immense age, but also of profound importance. The Hebrew meaning of his name, Man of the Dart, holds a certain mystique and adds a layer of intrigue to his life. His life was not the regular human lifespan. Instead, it spanned the time known as the Antediluvian, or pre-flood era, translating to before the deluge. The Antediluvian period was a time of monumental metamorphosis. This was a period in history that was characterized by giants who were fabled to be a race of superhuman size and extraordinary strength. Men of this era lived for hundreds of years, their lifespans vastly exceeding those seen in the present day. Moreover, some accounts of that era narrate a time of fallen angels commingling with mankind. It was said that these angels, known as the Watchers, descended to Earth and interacted with humans, further fueling the enigma of the time. However, this period was also a time of escalating iniquity. Wickedness and corruption knew no bounds, and the sinfulness of man rose to unprecedented levels. This rapid growth in transgressions and immorality led to God's heart-rending decision to cleanse the earth and start anew. It was decided that a great flood would be brought upon earth, a cataclysmic event aimed at eradicating the sinfulness of man. Methuselah, living through this time, saw the birth of his son Lamech, and later his grandson Noah, who would soon become a pivotal figure in the salvation of humanity. Noah was chosen by God to construct the ark, a vessel intended to preserve the most innocent elements of life from the impending deluge. Methuselah's life is an emblem of continuity, a bridge between two contrasting worlds, the wicked world that was to be washed away and the new world that would from the remnants of the flood. He saw the unraveling of humanity's wickedness and the divine intervention to restore purity on earth. He lived through the changing moral landscape of his time, witnessing the descent into unprecedented depravity and the divine response to it. Historical accounts suggest that Methuselah's life ended in the year of the flood. The passing of Methuselah marked not only the cessation of his life, but also the termination of an era. His death symbolized the conclusion of the antediluvian era, denoting the demise of the old world and the initiation of a new one. His life and death are an emblem of change, a reflection of the transient nature of life and the inevitable transformation that follows. It is said that Methuselah died in the year of the flood, his death marking the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. But Methuselah's story doesn't end with his death. His name has survived the test of time, with his image painted vibrantly across the canvas of history, becoming synonymous with exceptional longevity and age. His life, an interwoven tapestry of mystery, intrigue, and profound wisdom, reverberates with extraordinary tales that have ignited countless theories, sparked endless debates, and fueled innumerable discussions among scholars, historians, theologians, and seekers of truth across the globe. Some scholars, gazing upon Methuselah's life through the lens of religious faith, proposed that his incredibly long life was nothing less than a divine blessing, a testament to his piety, virtue, and dedication to his faith. In their perspective, Methuselah was singled out the Almighty, gifted with longevity as a sign of divine favor, a mark of holy approval. On the other hand, there are proponents of science who present a different perspective. These individuals, armed with geological data and atmospheric studies, suggest that Methuselah's longevity might be a sign of drastically different climatic conditions before the biblical flood. They propose that perhaps the antediluvian atmosphere was more conducive to long life, and Methuselah was simply a product of his time and environment. However, the narrative doesn't stop with such simplistic explanations. There are also those who are unafraid to delve into the mystical, the enigmatic, the esoteric. These are the explorers of the unknown, who propose that Methuselah and his kin were not just ordinary mortals, but had brushes with supernatural, encounters with beings beyond our realm of comprehension. 
They believe his longevity to be the result of divine interactions or celestial interference. This element of the supernatural introduces an extra layer of intrigue to Methuselah's story, prompting us to question the boundaries between the divine, the human, and the otherworldly. Methuselah's life is a narrative of longevity, lineage, and legacy. It's a tale that encapsulates humanity's pursuit of understanding, of truth, of wisdom. From his ancestry, tracing its roots back to the very first humans, Adam and Eve, to his son Lamech and grandson Noah, each link in Methuselah's family lineage adds depth and meaning to his tale. His life spanned the pre-flood era, a tumultuous time where the world teetered on the brink of destruction, a period marked by giants and escalating wickedness, and Methuselah stood as a beacon amidst the chaos, a significant figure in biblical history. His encounters with the supernatural, whether real or imagined, further add layers of intrigue to his story, ensuring his legacy continues to inspire debate, fuel speculation, and stimulate intellectual curiosity to this day. As we navigate through the labyrinth of history, we must not forget that even the most ancient tales, like that of Methuselah, can offer us fresh insights and unique perspectives, allowing us to discern patterns, uncover truths, and gain wisdom. So the next time you come across the name Methuselah, remember his story, remember his longevity, and remember the era he witnessed. It's a story that has lasted through the ages, just like Methuselah himself.